Hey YouTube, uh, part two of my uh, local knife show buys, uh, knives have been cleaned up, uh, soaked them in uh, dish detergent and uh, hot water, scrubbed them down with a uh, toothbrush, an old toothbrush, oiled them up, sharpened them up, and uh, pretty happy with the results, uh, especially on this Craftsman. I really like this knife for being how old it is. It's 1977. Uh, cleaned up really well. Uh, took an edge pretty good. And I think this will definitely be a carrier. Then the uh, Bluegrass Barlow. I cleaned up pretty well. Now one thing that did happen, the uh, I soaked them a couple hours in the uh, dish soap and uh, the blades uh, took on uh, like a tiger stripe almost patina on them. Uh, the, the carbon blades and uh, you know, the Swiss Army knives were fine. But, uh, so I had to, uh, had to take care of that, just use uh, my knife eraser, which, uh, if this thing, uh, it's got some abrasion to it, and, uh, cleans the uh, rust spots off knife blades pretty well. That, and a little scotch bright. um, the Swiss Army knives cleaned up real nice. And the Wagner hair. But when I started, uh, these four knives, this was, this was clean. So that just goes to show how much dirt is in these old knives. Um, definitely recommend if you buy secondary knives, or knives on the secondary market, or, you know, use flea market knives, uh, that you definitely clean them up. Um, especially if you're going to use them for food prep or whatever. And, uh, it's just part of the fun, you know. So, anyways... Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, hope you like this one. Uh, like, subscribe, and any comments are appreciated. Thanks a lot, YouTube. See you next time.